Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept about inferences about populations. This is standard 7.12b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 38 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a survey here of randomly selected freshmen about their choice of major. And so we've got uh, some of our answers down here, uh, English, science, engineering, so on and so forth. This is not a survey of every single freshman. This is just a randomly selected set of freshmen. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an inference here about all freshmen uh, based on this information. So we can actually take a survey of a, a slice of a larger population and then use those results uh, as a uh, representative of everyone if we were to ask everyone. So we can make some inferences. We're not 100% sure unless we actually survey everyone, but we can make some pretty strong inferences. So let's just take a look at these. F, the number of freshmen who chose English as their major. All right, so all we have is our information here, but we know that our English, I'm gonna just kind of write that right here, F. I'm gonna replace these uh, sentences here with some numbers. The number of freshmen who chose English as their major, that's 50, is less than, okay, the number of freshmen who chose undecided as their major. Well, I mean, just take a look at the numbers there. Does 50 look like it is less than 50? Nope. Looks like it would be equal to 50. So uh, F is going to be incorrect. We would say if they were to change this to equal to, we'd be fine. Or maybe they might say is about the same as. And that's really what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look at these try to turn these statements into number sentences and then just compare. Pretty straightforward. G, the number of freshmen who chose education as their major. So education, 60, is greater than, put a little greater than symbol. The number of freshmen who chose, okay, so we've got science or other. So when you've got two of these options, what you do is you end up adding them. So let me see, science, 35. And let's add others, 20. All right, so that means 60 is greater than 35 and 20 is 55. All right, that's, that looks okay. So it's not F, G looks okay. Obviously, before we you know, just answer that, we've got to check H and J. Let's go ahead and do that. Make sure those are incorrect. H, the number of freshmen who chose business or education. So business, 45, education, 60, is less than the number of freshmen who chose science or engineering. All right, so we got two of these here, science, engineering. So that's 35 and 40. So let's just go ahead and simplify that. 45 and 60 is 105. Do we say that 105 is less than, let's see, 35 and 40 is 75. Hmm. Nope, that's going to be incorrect. Greater than obviously would have worked better. So we're going to say that it's going to be incorrect. Greater than would have worked better. So let's check our J to make sure that it's incorrect here. J, the number of freshmen who chose business as their major. So business right here is 45, is greater than, right, so greater than the number of freshmen who chose English as their major. English right here is 50. See, that doesn't take any type of addition or anything. You literally can just look at two numbers and say 45 is not less, or not greater than 50. It is less than 50. That would have been better. So that is incorrect. So it is not F, it is not H, it is not J. Just like we thought here, when we ran across this G, it looks to be our answer. So that is what we're going to choose. The number of freshmen who chose education as a major is greater than the number of freshmen who chose science or other as their major.